So does this series, sigma for n goes from 1 to infinity, n plus 1 over n times square root of n, converges or diverge? Well, I spot that we have two things on the top, n plus 1, and then we have only one thing, n times square root of n on the bottom. Why don't we split the fraction apart? So let's look at that as sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, and then I will look at this as n over n times square root of n as the first fraction, and then plus 1 over n square root of n. And now let's observe these two as two individual series. For the first one, we have the n over n, of course they cancel each other out right away, and then we can look at this as sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity. This is just 1 over square root of n, which is n to the 1 half power. And then for the second one, we can just say, let's add sigma of that summation when n goes from 1 to infinity. And this is 1 over n, which is the n to the first power, times n to the 1 half power. Altogether, this is 1 over n to the 1 plus 1 half, which is 3 half power. So we are just looking at this as two individual series. And for the first one, I think we know much better about this, right? Instead of the original form. Because we notice that the p right here is n to the p, right? The p right here is 1 half, and then more, more importantly, 1 half is less than 1. And we get to say that because the power here in the p3 form, if it's less than 1, we can say this diverges for the first one. And then for the second one, we have 3 half for the p, but then 3 half is bigger than 1. Therefore, this part, this series by itself, it converges. And now let me ask you, this right here is a divergent. Think about divergent as positive infinity, because we are just adding a, bun a bunch of positive numbers. So this goes to positive infinity. This right here, it converges. We will converge to a finite number, positive finite number. If we have a divergent plus a convergent, what's the result? What's the result of infinity plus a finite number? Well, the result will still be infinity, isn't it? Therefore, divergent plus a convergent is still going to be divergent for sure, right? This is the part that we can draw conclusion. It's like, once again, infinity plus a finite number it is still going to be infinity. So therefore, we know that the original series, it diverges. Okay, and that's it. You can just say that's the reason for that. But then sometimes if you end up with a divergent, but then you show that it's minus another divergent, this right here, we actually don't get to say if it diverge or converge. Because this is pretty much a saying infinity minus infinity. What's the answer for that? The answer for that is we have to do more work. So you know, I'll leave that to you. But the question right here, this is it.